Okay, everybody, welcome to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news. I'm Chris, and today we are talking about streaming services. Now, there is no doubt that 2020 has been a very strange and groundbreaking year for a lot of different movie components and aspects moving forward, mostly because of the coronavirus pandemic, which has altered the way that we were able to watch movies this year, closing down major companies and movie theaters that still to this day haven't really opened their doors yet in a lot of different places. And this uncertainty has brought us to 2021, where it seems like streaming and the literal home box office is the way to go moving forward. With movies like Wonder Woman 1984 and a huge slate of Warner Brothers films going directly to HBO Max the same day that they release in theaters, and other platforms like Disney Plus creating Disney Plus Premium, where you can buy the movie the day it comes out on the streaming service instead of going to the movie theaters, the future of receiving brand new movies and these movies premieres is about to change. Now, if we're being honest, it was already headed in that direction. With streaming services becoming extremely popular, you have Netflix, you have Disney Plus, you have HBO Max, Hulu, Peacock, there are a number of streaming services to provide different types of content. But the pandemic definitely expedited the whole idea of bringing the movies home. But this isn't necessarily all good news just yet, and we're going to talk about and cover in this video why streaming services are about to get very expensive. Before we move on guys, we're giving away a PlayStation 5. If you'd like a chance to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel turn on your notification bell and go down to the comment section below and comment your favorite TV character or movie character of all times. Good luck. So yeah, it is an interesting time, it is a scary time, it is a time where we don't really know what the future of the movie theater is looking like, but we know for a fact that at the moment we have an outlet and we have a way to move forward. And that is through streaming, these different channels that allow us to have content, our favorite content for different categories and specific areas where these franchises and these companies belong. For example, Disney owns Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic, Pixar, Disney Animation, and a lot of other Disney classics, and all of those can be found on Disney+, Plus, which is a great location to go and find good content and things to watch. Then you have Netflix, which is just a slew of different cool melting pot variety of shows, and obviously one of the biggest streaming platforms out there. Also has a lot of very cool Netflix original series and movies, things that definitely invite viewers to come and take part of that streaming services platform. And every day it seems like there is a new company making a new streaming service. Peacock recently has come out, which holds a lot of universals and TV shows and movies. You have Hulu, which is different types of shows that Disney owns. Amazon, Roku, Fire Stick. There are so many different ways to access our favorite TV shows and movies. Sometimes it's a little confusing and we don't really even know how to move forward with this. But there is still one even larger problem, and that is how these companies will start to make their money back moving forward, especially without the big box office numbers that these movies have been known to pull out. Because the truth of the matter is, for example, Wonder Woman 1984 will not be making anywhere near as much money releasing its movie directly to HBO Max than it would if it had a full, normal box office release. So the question is, if this is the trend for the future, these big companies releasing movies directly to streaming platforms to allow more people to have the option to access it, how are they going to be making the money back? Disney recently had Investor's Day where they talked primarily about Disney Plus and how moving forward Disney Plus is going to be a main focus of a lot of their content and the way they plan on reaching out to fans viewers and everybody who's involved with these different types of shows and movies it's all going to connect through disney plus and warner brothers has made it pretty clear that they plan on using hbo max to connect to their viewers so let's break this down real quickly disney plus has made a budget for themselves spending between 14 billion and 16 billion across its streaming venues in the future so that they can continue to create awesome content on disney plus and that is shown and that's evident they've announced over 10 to 15 different shows for Marvel and Star Wars, and Pixar has a lot of new projects and spin-offs coming our way. National Geographic has stepped up their game and is posting a lot of very cool documentaries, but all of this stuff costs money. And as it stands right now, Disney Plus isn't making money for the company, just generating an income. So if 
Disney wants to start making money off of Disney Plus by the deadline they gave us of 2024, which I can promise you they do want that to happen, they're going to have to raise their prices, especially now if the box office is coming home, which will alter the way that movies are released, it will change the way that the money for these movies is made and where it is generated, and the subscription that you get every month for these channels and these different streaming services are going to have to start validating their existence and they're going to have to start charging more to the users of the company in order to make that money that they're requiring for all of the money they're putting into the streaming services. Now this isn't just a cash grab, obviously companies need to make money, but at the current rate in the way things are going, HBO Max and Disney Plus just aren't making enough money off of the streaming services alone. And we've seen this with Netflix. Netflix has raised their prices exponentially since the very beginning when Netflix came out. Netflix was under $5 when Netflix first became a big huge streaming platform that people use frequently and now it's up to nearly $20 a month. And this is where the issue lies. If we have Netflix, Peacock, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and who knows however many more streaming services are gonna pop up in 2021, and they're all ranging from about $15 to $20 so that they can make money as a company and as an idea, it's gonna be very difficult for consumers to select which of these projects and services they're gonna select because it's difficult for a lot of us to be able to afford all of these, especially with a $20 price tag. Heck, it's hard for a lot of us to afford them now when they're still sitting at $5 and a lot of them aren't as expensive. But these companies need to start making money. Disney has projected by 2024, they're gonna be making money on Disney Plus, which they haven't done yet. And they're going to want their investors to feel comfortable with the plan that they have set forth. This last investors day, they had a specific four hour project, four hour explanation and demonstration of what is gonna happen on Disney Plus and they threw out some very impressive projects, shows, and ideas moving forward. But it appears the only way to make that viable and to push Disney Plus into a category of making money, they're going to have to raise their prices in order to hit that mark. They have some huge budget shows and some very cool projects coming forward, and they're not cheaping out or skimping out on them, they're making high quality content. These subscriptions are going to have to go up in price. It is almost inevitable. But we're gonna have to wait and see what happens with other streaming services like HBO Max and the rest of them. But it appears the tides are changing for the home box office, the literal home box office that is becoming where we're going to be watching movies, where we're gonna be getting new releases, premieres, and having exciting family and friend-filled events for these shows and movies. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. It is exciting, but it's also important that we are capable of watching these shows and it doesn't cost thousands and thousands of dollars a year just to have access to movies, TV shows, and different projects that we are all excited about. While you're down in the comment section, guys, let me know what you think. Also, be sure to enter the PlayStation 5 giveaway. All you have to do to enter is comment your favorite TV character or movie character of all time, and of course, be subscribed to the channel. You may be the one lucky winner. Thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. As always, be sure to join us tomorrow for some important movie and television update right here on Cosmic Culture.